Hey guys, it's your boy Esri. I'm in Atlanta right now, down here celebrating my grandfather's birthday. He turned 80 today. Lots of Falcons fans down here, as you could probably imagine. I made sure to mock him about that beatdown we gave him a few weeks ago. By the way, shout out to LaShawn McCoy, our all-time leading rusher. You should have never been traded from Philly to Buffalo. And we did it for that bum named Kiko Alonso. What the heck was that? What was that? That was a chipmunk, jelly belly, Kelly disaster. And I hope you enjoy your retirement, buddy. Now let's get to this game that we have on Sunday. The two-time defending AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs are coming into Philadelphia. Honestly, what, what else has to be said about this team? What else has to be said? We all know about how deadly their offense is. Patrick Mahomes is an alien or something. Travis Kelsey is probably going to retire with every major tight end record. Then you got Tyree Kill, the cheetah. He's got blistering speed. On top of that, they're led by one of the greatest offensive play callers in NFL history, Andy Reid, our former head coach from 1999 to 2012. I think that it is hilarious. I think that it is so crazy that Andy Reid is on the verge of becoming the first coach in NFL history to win 100 games with two teams. And he's in position to do this against the Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. What are the odds? What are the odds of that? What are the odds that the Chiefs lose two straight games and how Reid has an opportunity to do this against the Eagles, his old team, at his old stadium, the Link? It's so crazy. On the very same weekend that Tom Brady is set to become the all-time passing yards leader against the Patriots at Gillette Stadium in New England. You can't make this stuff up. You can't write this stuff. It's almost like it's fixed. It's almost like it's scripted. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we desperately need a win in this game. We are coming off an absolute disaster in Dallas. The Cowboys wiped the floor with us. We got smoked. We got used and abused. We got beat like we stole something. All right? These players got to be absolutely frustrated. All right? We got humiliated by our division rival, our hated rival, in prime time. We got embarrassed by a hated enemy, the Dallas Cowboys, under the bright night lights of Monday Night Football for everybody to see. And a win against an opponent of this caliber is just what we need right now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest with you. I will never lie to you. I love the Eagles, man. I'm an Eagles fan. I'll rep them until my very last breath. And even in death, I'll be wearing my Brian Dawkins jersey. However, I have to tell you the truth. It would be very disingenuous for not to, say, to not say how I really feel. My head is telling me that we're going to lose this game. It's just hard to bet against that guy named Patrick Mahomes. He, he's really a stud. He's something, he's something special, that guy. However, my heart is telling me, as a bleeding green Eagles fan, that we can upset these guys. Now, believe me, things don't look good right now at all. We're backed into a corner. But when it comes to games like this, I always think of this game back in 2015. We were 4-7. and seven. We went into New England. We upset the 10 and 1 defending Super Bowl champions, the Patriots, who were 10 and 1 at Gillette Stadium in New England. We scored in every way possible. Touchdown, punt return, blocked punt, pick 6. Now, it's not impossible to beat the Chiefs. Let's not forget. The Chiefs are 1 and 2. They've lost two straight games to the Ravens and the Chargers. They could very easily be 0 and 3 if not for a muffed punt by the Browns in week 1. Kansas City is vulnerable. Now, how do we win this game? Nick Seriani. We are coming off two straight games of very questionable and very sloppy offensive play calling from you. You've got some detractors to silence. You want to beat the Chiefs? It's very simple. Run the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. Okay? Listen, don't repeat your mistakes against Dallas where you only ran the ball three times. Do not neglect the run on the day where we honor our all-time leading rusher, LaShawn McCoy. You have Miles Sanders. Use him. Use him. Jalen Hurts. You've got to have a bounce back game too, buddy. We need a strong performance from you. The haters are talking. The Deshaun Watson rumors are heating up once again. I don't want Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson, we don't know what's going to happen with him. I don't know what's going to happen with him. 
the guy doesn't even want to waive his no trade clause to go to Philly. He doesn't want to be here. I want you, Jalen Hurts. I want you to prove yourself. I want you to take this job and run with it. I want you to go out there and prove that you should be the starting quarterback of this team. Go out there and have a strong game, man. Make this job yours. Show the doubters what you're truly made of. I've seen what you could do, especially in that game against the Cardinals last year. I know what you could do, Jalen Hurts. I bought your jersey like right before the season started. I believe in you, man. I believe in you. I really do. Now listen, Patrick Mahomes, we got to make him uncomfortable. You saw the Chargers and Ravens do it. You saw them do it. Just make him uncomfortable. Javon Hargrave, he's looking like one of the best defensive linemen in the league right now. I know it's very, very unlikely. Very unlikely. We're huge underdogs right now. But we can beat this team. You're one and two. Eagles, you got to find a way to win this game. You could climb from one and two. Just two seasons ago, 2019, we started one and two. We beat the Redskins in the season opener. And then we dropped two straight games to the Falcons and the Lions. We were one and two. And heading into week three, we went into Green Bay on Thursday night football to take on the undefeated Packers, who were three and out. The Eagles won that game 32 to 27. Aaron Rodgers' first loss to the Eagles, the first Packers loss under Matt LaFleur. I've seen games like this before. We can win this game, guys. Don't I know it looks bad, but you can't lose faith. It is only Three games into the season. We've only played three games so far. We're not done yet. There's still a chance to right this ship. Don't lose hope. Don't think about draft picks right now. You can still make this season a success. You can still climb from one and two. One and three is a little bit harder, but you can climb from one and two. We did it two seasons ago, 2019. We won the division. You can win this game, Eagles. But do you really want to? Get that willpower deep down inside you, man. Do it, man. Do it for Brandon Graham. Do it for LaShawn McCoy. Honor your all-time leading rusher with a win against the Kansas City Chiefs. Peace out.